Hello everybody, Steve here, and today I want to kind of do a little bit of an introduction on using these uh, leashy picks as far as what I've uh, learned with it as I've been playing with it this last little while. And I, I just recently had uh, reviewed this thing, this uh, tool, and uh, so you could go back and look at my previous video on it. But uh, really, I just quickly went through and kind of reviewed it really quick, but I didn't really go into details about it. So just kind of wanted to take today to uh, look at this a little bit closer and basically uh, <clears throat> go through how I learned to use this tool. So up until I got this, I have never used these tools before. And so... Um, it was kind of a new experience for me so when I first got it uh, basically taking a look at it of course you have the different parts of it you have the blade and this blade basically looks like the bottom half of a key of a cleat key and then you have the tension arm you have the the pick itself which the pick is on this side and then you control it with this and then you have a little bit of a little thumb uh, control there or whatever and then you have the little graph there to kind of tell you what pin you're on and how deep you're going and <clears throat> uh, the first thing is is this does have a little tiny uh, allen wrench that comes with it a little grub screw that way you can take this tension tool off and turn it over to the other side like that and screw it on and then that way you have the tension arm on the other side if you need to depending on <clears throat> depending on what you're doing if you're left handed right handed however you want to use it but it gives you that option to do that so let's put this back the way I like it So the second thing to uh, understand is that these leashy picks um, are to have different model numbers on them. This is an SC1, and so this is designed for the Schlage five-pin locks, and they have an SC4 for the six-pin. They have other type of models for different types of lock. You know, they have the KW1 for quick set and for quick set five pin they have another one for six pin they have a bunch of them for different uh, um, automobile locks they have them for different padlocks so basically uh, depending on what locks you want to pick you have to be you have to get the right model number of leash you pick in order to use so the second thing that you might uh, that I noticed is that uh, this tip <clears throat> stick is a uh, you can see that it's two hundred thousandths from the bottom of the pick to the top uh, top of that blade there so that and that way or and so what that means is is when you put that into the lock um, taking a look at the bidding of a Schlage key so the the depth of a nine cut is two hundred thousandths which is the same as the height of this of the blade here so that means that when you're putting this in the lock any pin that is a nine cut will automatically get set <clears throat> so um, next thing is is I'll take I would take my lock here and put it in my little vise because I just found it easier to uh, um, easier to use it while the vise is holding on to the lock. I mean, just depending on what you're doing. Obviously, this lock is still work, and this is my practice lock that is five pins, and <clears throat> so the first thing that I do is I'll take my leashy pick and I'll, do, I'll make sure that it does fit into the keyway 
like that if it doesn't fit then don't try to force it because you can break these things they're very I guess uh, I wouldn't say too fragile but uh, when you pay when you pay for them you don't really want to break them and so you don't force don't force if it's not going to do it it's, don't force it at all and once I got that in there the next thing I did was uh, tested were tested to see how the the um, these pin chambers fit and if they line up with the pin chambers of the lock and so without applying any tension I just kind of went through here and I kind of went pushed it and I could feel where it was getting on to the pins and getting into the chambers you know you can kind of feel that and then that way I kind of figured out that uh, that that the, with this lock that it does correspond with these numbers as far as the pin chamber so I'm like <clears throat> that's the first thing I did just to make sure that this pick will, will work as intended um, and then the next thing I did was basically went through and tested each one of these pins to kind of feel how what they felt like without any tension on there kind of the springiness of the of the spring in there as it is and just kind of testing it out to see how it feels and kind of going back and forth to kind of get a feel on how the tool works and stuff and then then after that I did apply a little bit of tension I didn't even apply much just a little bit to kind of see if I could get anything to bind and once I got to on this lock once I got to three I could feel the binding and I'm like well <clears throat> then I kind of realized that it doesn't take much um, pressure not much tension in order to make this tool work you don't have to worry about that too much you don't have to be too heavy-handed with it so definitely having you know light tension definitely does the job and the other thing I noticed when I applied tension and moving it back and forth is see how much control I have moving this core back and forth with the way that this fits into the lock as snug as it does then I can that way it helps me with the control of the core turning in that way and so that came into play a lot when I was uh, playing around with this other lock that I put security pins in and so <clears throat> once I figured that out then I gave it a, gave a quick shot so went through here just like I normally do I got here to the binding and kind of pushed it down and I could feel a little click and I'm like well, very good very nice to feel that nice click and obviously pin number five wasn't isn't didn't didn't go down very far pin number one got a good click out of that pin number two good click out of that so I'm missing something here so let's go through this again this feels like a set pin number one feels like a set pin number two feels like a set Pin number three does. You can kind of feel a little bit of springiness, and then it just kind of stops. There we go. Kind of had to nudge a little bit on pin number four. So, <clears throat> as you can tell, uh, once once I uh, kind of went through and kind of learned and kind of figured out how the tool works, it didn't take much to get this this thing to going. And the other thing is, is uh, even once you do get it picked then you can take the tool out and then of course you know with it in the pick position then you can decode the lock so trying that out and stuff but <clears throat> right now I just kind of wanted to show a little bit of the process on how and what I did in order to learn how to use this tool so it took a little bit of practice I mean the first time it opened was was pretty quick just as quick as that but it does take a little bit of practice 
in order to learn and so if you do get one of these tools I mean it's great to have one of the it's great to use it and I'm definitely happy I have but just remember that it does take a little bit of practice and a little bit of a learning curve it's a little bit different than uh, trying to SPP a, a normal lock and stuff and so just be aware that you know with a little bit of practice it 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 doesn't take much but once you learn how to use it and learn how to control then it definitely helps out and so um, after I had played around with this standard this practice lock with standard pins in it and then I pinned it up with uh, security pins and stuff and and then for this demonstration I just kind of left it put the standard pins back in it and I have another Schlage lock here that I'll have to show another time but it this one has some spools and a, and a <clears throat> serrated pin in it so I'll have to show that off for uh, some other time but I just wanted to kind of give a quick introduction on on uh, learning how to use these leashy picks and so thank you very much for watching make sure that you give a like and you're subscribed and leave comments down below and thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day